we purchase the asset, how much do we get? Boxes. And uh, the file, the paper, and the official disk. This is the official set. Where everything is on. Well, the stuff is not on that disk, of course not. But we also got all the hardware they got. Some of the hardware didn't work. Others did not. So, and there were servers, actually two subsets of servers, Windows servers and uh, Linux servers. There were, all the Linux servers were empty. All the all Linux servers were empty. But there were also a chain drive, but no chain drive. So, we did a lot of inventory work. And on the 11th of August, we got changed six days. Believe it or not, there was a very good change, but we could read them. Finally, today, I got an email. Yes, you could read them. But only on Windows. They were written on Linux, but on Windows, we found a specific driver that ran this change drive. And they are a, a we even know the format, which is a um, backup. So we, that's all we know for now, and hopefully we find data at that. We don't know yet. So, last week we got more, we got <coughs> customer files, because the original customer files are all contract. And um, finally, um, today is the first public presentation. So that's it where my official presentation ends. And so, every presentation like this, we have a future. What, why did we do this? What are our plans? Right now, our plans say, the first thing we want to do, and that's the next step, is to provide the existing accounts a fully serviced and supported um, version of the software. And um, the next thing we want to do is we want to do a relaunch for actually the same market was before and keep our fingers crossed that we finally can expand the usage of small business. The last thing I wanted to show you, and then I'm also done, is I even found a demo disk, which is a virtual uh, PC, which I can start. So you see over here, in the moment you will see that this is a, a Windows XP system, which will start momentarily. And uh, <coughs> it will come up eventually, or you know it's Windows. It will take a while. And I found it interesting how much effort they have put into to get these things right. You can even hear that text. And uh, now it's there. Now we can click on. This is the way they presented this to, to, uh, their, uh, to their potential users. You see it's been over 7.5 of 2007. And uh, uh, they had an auto recovery for their local database, which is on here. You will see that now the database is set up and the system parameters are generated and the workflow is initialized and all the initialization is done. I think they really did this nicely and momentarily. We will come up with a overview about the entire application so it all comes out. And, uh, what we can see is that this demo application is for bicycles. So for a producer of bicycles, and it is in Dutch, for Dutch people, of course. Yeah, because there was a Dutch on that, I think so. And um, so uh, we can go in here and say, okay, I want to go in production, and or I want to look for the articles. So this is what it shows up, and I can go in and type uh, asterisk in there, and then I call the filter and it shows it to me. So I go to the database and shows all the articles, and we can go in here and find what is there, and so that's the way it is. all works. So that's perfect what I wanted to show to you. And um, questions? How much manpower do you plan to, uh, to get this up yet? I don't know yet, but yes, still. At the end of, right now, what we're going to do is just get the inventory now. And, um, depending on the requirements.
environment. So you know that you, I know that you did a uh, assessment a uh, couple of years of this stuff, uh, and um, there are parts in it which are actually interesting architecture. For example, the idea to because databases and objects are I don't see just some people right now here, but who have gone through this a couple of times are always a tricky situation to look at. And um, what they did is a very, very flexible metadata schema where you store, you have tables per data type, and you only have a form key and a data type, and then you have references which just says this is the type and this is the, the key there, and so you could have all the examples of the structure of the object and get a score of them. And this is a dynamic. Any time, any time. So that they have forms is uh, you could it's required to have the entire database so small that it only can actually put it with the main memory. And if you find a 